listen, some of us are fed up of religion. Some of us are fed up of coming to dead Christianity. We want His fire. We want His Spirit to touch us. More Holy Spirit. And it's in atmospheres like this that depression can't stand. It's in atmospheres like this that sickness gets ripped out. (laughs) The devil has tried to put depression on too many people in the last 12 months. God is filling people (laughs) with his joy. Just receive that. We're not here to put the Holy Spirit in a box. Some of you are thinking, what's going on here tonight? I thought this was meant to be a church service. This is a church service, but it's a revival service. Are you listening to me? Where his presence is breaking out, touching the young and the old. See, a lot of people in this day and hour, they want to mix the word with intellectualism. They want to mix the word with their brain to see if it makes sense or not. See, and what God is looking for in this day and hour is a people that have a childlike faith. Lord, when your word goes forth, I'm taking it. My brain comes second, my understanding comes third, and the opinion of man, I don't even care about that. Repeat after me. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. The Bible says in the last days there will be a people that they will have the form of godliness but deny the power thereof. There are people that have come into these meetings and even those that are watching, some, they speak Christianese. They say they're Christian, but they deny the power of God. And we can't afford to be theologically sound, but spiritually bound. We can't just know how to quote scripture, but the devil is beating us up. We can't just say I'm a Christian by name, but Monday to Saturday my life looks like hell. Some of you may say, do I have to do it publicly? Yes, you do. Jesus died publicly. Come and receive him publicly. Quickly, quickly. You might be a young person and you need to get out here quickly. Don't miss this moment. You might be an old person and before you take your final breath, You don't want to miss this moment. Quickly, quickly, quickly. While there's still time. While there's a couple of grains left in the hourglass. Quickly, make that decision. Utilize this moment. Come on, come on. There's a couple of more of you. I know there is. Don't miss this moment. If I have to urge you, I will stand here and urge you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. This is that moment you go from death to life. This is that moment you go from darkness to light while there's still time. And I'm going to ask every one of you to rise to your feet right now quickly. Lord Jesus, I directly address every demon of marijuana, every spirit of addiction. Loose your hold right now. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is freedom in this place. There is freedom, freedom, freedom. Just lift up your hands all over this place. She love hombre, limbre nombre. But today you gave your life to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And what about you? What's your name? Gemma. And what's the Lord done for you? You came last year, wow. And um, I was on, um, I was here night seven, and God has completely healed me from my depression and anxiety. Wow. (laughs) Hallelujah. All the way from Ireland. Yes, I did. Yes, I did that Saturday morning because I I didn't know about the extended tent, but I came Saturday morning because I couldn't contain myself not to be here among you. And I want to tell you something. I'm a grandma. Who's, is there more grandparents here? Grandparents, we have a call to lift the arms of those young Amen. evangelists Amen. because they need us. Amen. And 15 years ago, a young man witnessed to me. I was a lost case in my, in my cards, on my cards. 
tradition, religion told me there is no escape for me. And a young man answered the call. He was 18, and that was my son. And he witnessed to me the gospel of salvation. Young people, you have a call, answer to it. Because your families, your grannies, your mommies, your parents are waiting. If you talk about UK, it's an ache in my heart. Pray for Ireland, it's just over there. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, this is so powerful. This precious lady has flew in all the way from Ireland. <laughs> if you're watching this from London, you need to get here. If you're watching here and you live less than an hour away, you need to get here. Hallelujah. If you're hungry for God, get to these services in Jesus' name. God bless you.